pretty interesting to start. Coach Sprinkle talked about, um, you know, even preparing for this game. They didn't have any light practices. Tech, that was a scripted big, big screen, just that they were unsuccessful. Six on the shot clock, pump fake for Muhammad from the baseline. He gets the first bucket and first points. Balance. Texas Tech, the school record. You see four straight NCAA tournament appearances. That's a triple try that time for Shannon. Knocks it down at six, at six five about, and he's used as their kind of their hybrid point guard. They got one second on the shot clock, and Montana State turns it over. McCullough takes it, lays it in. Well, that, what you have to do is you have to finish the defensive possession with rebounds, and they have five guys that can get after it. What I love is they rotate, but on offense they share it. Good job by Texas Tech. Shannon will pull and fire, and he knocks it down once again. That's a quick timeout, not the start. Well, we see at Lisa right here as a shooter, a lefty like Coach. He lines it up, knocks it down, splash. Or they got to get the ball reversed to the other side. You can't stay on one side and play on one side against Texas Tech. McCuller, that silky smooth jumper. I mentioned he's the only player on the roster. Get some energy in their defense, get off their heels some. To the corner, to Shannon once again. Boy, he's had the hot hand. He is a perfect three for three to begin with. I like Bryson down on the block because he has good vision, also can go over either shoulder and be able to draw the double. Perfect in his shot pocket. Perfect four for four as a team here for Texas Tech, and there's the answer by Battle. Raekwon Battle gets his first four. He's, you know, top 70 kid in high school, so he's very capable. Here's Williams going to work. He's got that baseline falling. Let's watch Williams. Face up, quick move to the baseline, got the defense off balance. The only miss here for Texas Tech. His first shot that he took. There's a mid-range. They're just going to let McCullough take it. There's nothing wrong with the mid-range. I know they love the three ball, Avery, but the mid-range, two points count as well. Avery, they might already have their offense going. They're 9 of 10 shooting here to begin with. <laughs> Williams is calling for it. Flips it up. I mean, everything is dropping, and Arms gets another bucket. We get some easy looks. Another look here for Montana State. A deep triple try that time. That won't fall for Bishop. It's Bello going to work his first point. Nice move, big fella. Uh, they contested that one well. Look at the ball movement by the Red Raiders. Warren chases it down. No look pass. So Banner with the reverse. They're, they're saying that's a sign of weakness. You're not a team player. You have to communicate. It's an open look. You're not an open look. That was challenged, but Gonzalez knocks it down. <laughs> <laughs> You know, Avery, I would like to talk about that. As you can see, there's a nice jump shot as uh, Amadou gets a chance to knock that one down. That Kentucky loss? Woo. It is parody. Gets it quickly out into the corner. Another three-point make for Gazelas. And Williams will take the triple try. He knocks it down. Bryce Williams shoots about 41% from back there for the season. Just the one bucket, one of four shooting. Now six to shoot. They get it back into the hands of Rebello, trying to work it around. He coughs it up to, to Tyler Patterson. Ooh, and that was silky smooth from the corner. Routine, his stroke, his form. Part of an 11 to 4 run here for the Bobcats. How about a corner try back the other way? There's the answer from Williams. He's gone back to back from three. Gazela's trying to work it inside, and he lost it. Here comes Shannon on the push. Out to Wilson with the finish. Eight seconds now to shoot the back down McCuller. Thought about it. Change of direction. How about that move? Wow, McCuller. Let me tell you, that was a little dream shake right there. No, oh, a little Smitty. It's five shots here in the first half. Kind of put your hands up. Like, what are you going to do? We're seeing it on both ends. Wilson to O'Panner for the flush. Sometimes Montana State has here in the first half. There's a clean look there for Warren, and he takes advantage. Let's take a look at how Texas Tech, are they going to get a shot at the basket? Shannon to O'Banner. You know, they found him a few times in that spot here in the first half. Texas Tech jumps into a zone defense. How about Sprint to operate to sink the deep three-point shot in the final play of the first half? <laughs> yeah, I, I would say... Uh... Definitely, love the way this defense is going, that is definitely. Number 11, Bryson Williams. Any type of success, if they don't get more than 
one guy on the offensive glass. You got to get somebody in there to rebound some of those shots. From deep, it's Bryson Williams. Some more confidence offensively. They get a steal right here. Got to make something positive. Knock down a shot at least into the free throw line. Beautiful right hand floater by Bishop. Warm up top to Santos Silva going back door to McCuller. Takes the contact and one to count it. At the 16 20. Five mark left in the second half. And guess what? That's Bishop's replacement, and that's a freshman, Kellen Times, who's getting some time. From Texas Tech, so try to shoot more over their defense like they did at the end of the first half. And you got to try to find a way to stop that man. It's double figures here right now. O'Banner, by the way, is sitting there at eight points, so he's almost there as well. Williams goes at it again, goes back to back. He is a terrific talent, Avery. I like Austin Boy. He's a freshman, but he has great skills, even from the perimeter. Yeah, he's got some more time, right? And they work it around. That started, by the way, with all support. Point plays, but plays, play better defense, trap the post. I don't think they can afford to go one-on-one. -on -one. <laughs> Williams has said, Avery, something. are you listening? Because I could shoot the three ball, too. When Rutgers couldn't get the ball in bounds, led to them getting that game in overtime. Okay. Well, flipping work. it up there for Raekwon Paddle. Never satisfied, coaches. And again, they understand defensively what the goal is, is to keep every opponent under 60 points. Red hot from three. And, and coaches over there, even after that bucket, he was turning red. He was telling his team, run, get back in transition. And into the corner this time, here's Shannon. Now pump fake, counted off the glass for Warren. The ability of, of, of what they use with their time with the open practice. We all know that they have the real, quote unquote, real practice, right? Hey, there's Mr. Alaska, Patrick McBann. Day, and though Montana State is down big, the, the value of playing in the NCAA tournament unmatched. How about that move? Terrence Shannon, body bucket and one. Points on just six field goal attempts. Got into that free throw line eight times in May 7. They're going to feed the freshman a little bit. How about K, Patrick McMahon? Got a three. I got a bucket on the box. Another layup there for Davion Warren. That will specifically against three point shooters they these guys master scouting with points. oh wow they do. They do. two points eight to shoot three look boy he's good at that isn't he bishop falling away in one of her nine brackets she did. <laughs> exactly how good at those which which bracket nine. are you talking about yeah, Avery? number like seven number five <laughs> number three i like them I like them too. But, we beat them right. but you like that one. <laughs> I like them. Big Ten. You need to remember he was at Clarendon Junior College, and when you were at New Mexico Junior College, you played against him. So. Agbo. That's a long two. Rizzo Agbo. Yeah, getting some minutes here. Nice cut. Ooh, nice finish. Paddle. Putting it away. Pretty well. Good patient play by Adonis Arms. <laughs> There's your double, double. 11 rebounds. I know we talked about whether a kid is a senior, does he really have another year coming back as a... So it'll be interesting to see how many players... Different college basketball world, aren't we? I don't even trust when I see the year's juniors and seniors listed on the roster. It's a nice take for two. And upsets do happen. That's what makes the NCAA tournament so fun to watch but but you could see the pump fake off the glass for two davion warren having himself a game as well pacific time <laughs> a little bit earlier than that <laughs> Rest, earlier restaurants than are still open <laughs> <laughs> we're not gonna get done till late my friend you know the game has got out of hand let's really focus on our opponent Texas Tech locker room after the game just to hear Coach Adams' speech.